Hi there, this is Matthew Belmont and welcome to another trailer action video. And today, oh, it's going to be Monster Madness with Kaiju Cleanup. Now this film is a co-production between Toei, the production company behind such films as The Magic Serpent and The Legend of the Dinosaurs, as well as the Star Wars knockoff Message from Space, and Shochiku, whose only film I had known from this company was uh, The X from Outer Space, and back in the 30s, 1933 to be specific, they made the film Wasai Kingu Kongu. To know more about that film, please watch my documentary Hail to the King, a King Named Kong. Google it. So now, let's look at the film Kaiju Cleanup. It rains tear over humanity. But one day the massive monster suddenly died. <laughs> what do we do? With its body. What is this, some sort of comedy? Of some sort, a serious drama? I mean, I laugh about at this concept, what do we do with this body? But guess what? Japan is known for its monster attacks since 1954. Even in shows like From Ultraman to Power Rangers, they always fight the monster of the week and usually it ends up exploding. But here, the monster's body just lies there. I mean, I've seen King Kong. I've seen the beast from 20,000 Fathoms. I mean, in the movie, the monster fell off the building. That was King Kong. But in Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, he got shot by a radioactive harpoon carrying the isotope, and boom, the monster died. But what do we do with its body? I mean, I have a feeling it's going to be a dark comedy of some sort. At least what I just saw is a teaser just coming out in 2022. Oh my gosh. What do they do with the kaiju's body? What do they do with the kaiju's body? What do they do with the kaiju's body? Lying on the street. I don't know. Usually the government gets involved. But what else? So here's a question you can comment down below. What if a giant monster suddenly died or got killed? What do you do with, with its body? Right down below. Also, this is Matthew Lamont saying don't forget to like and subscribe and have a nice day.